Coming up on Rick Dancer TV, we've got Coburg, the car show, the quilt show, the antique fair. Rick Dancer TV is about information. Hi, I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Rick Dancer TV. Obviously, we're in the mood like you probably are too. It's also plants. about attitude. So, Emma, this is a perfect segue, but have you ever tried Doug's Nuts? What? Doug's Nuts. Have you heard of Doug's Nuts? Inappropriate. They come in a sack. Much? This little bag right whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, so many things. <laughs> Marvin Lori. It's about introducing you to the people that make this such a great place to live. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Little little free publicity, the Sears house. It is a special, isn't it? On Rick Dancer TV, we are in Cresswell. We're going to introduce you to some new places to eat, show you the best soup you'll ever find. It's about introducing you to people and places and ideas, things you never right, thought about before. Uh -oh. I am alive. Yeah, because, um, so, so you guys are the local jokers, is that right? Yes, yeah. yeah. My favorite is, of it's course, It's television the way it right should be done. Right there in Springfield on Mohawk. The chicken is amazing. I know you tease me about only ordering margaritas. We're not afraid this to get you riled. It's going to irritate you. I, I hope it irritates you to the point of taking some action. We went out with Lane County's nuisance abatement program, which yeah. I don't know how you do that, and they still charge We're not afraid to challenge the rules. What do you, I don't think you can do, I don't think you can do that. Emma, just bite it off there. Taste it. I feel like I should say no. Mm. Is that not the best ice cream? It is really good. But also, I'm pretty sure they frown upon this. Just for well, future reference. It's not reference. like we're going to put it back in. And on the soapbox, dog poop in a plastic bag? Really? I'm not dead. That sounds like something interesting. <laughs> The show has definitely changed a lot over the last two years. A lot of people have been involved. Now we're working with Eugene Daily News to get more content, more stories, more information, and more people involved. I'm working with Bill Getz, a photographer I used to work with at KEZI many, many years ago. So, here's what we should do. You want to take a look back at some of the early shows to see how much it's changed? Look at those pictures. Ah. Hi, I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Rick Dancer TV. What the heck is Rick Dancer TV? Well, we don't know either. We're making it up as we go, and hopefully it's not going to be a train wreck. Oh, it's not going to be a train wreck. I work with professional photographers. I was in the business for 20 years. I had this dream I was back on TV. If I'd been back on the news, that would qualify as a nightmare. But this was different. I mean, really different. This was a show made up of stories that you wouldn't see on the news. Some were pet projects, some's just informative, but all of them told a story, a story about people. And you can join us on Rick Dancer TV. This is how we introduced the show to Eugene. I know it's a little bit creepy, but I'd been through some really difficult times and I wanted to make a point about things that die in your life. So anyway, we borrowed this bicycle pulled hearse from a local mortician. The creep factor was pretty high, uh, people were staring at us as we driving down the street, and to this day, my wife still can't look at me in that particular suit. Prostate cancer didn't kill me. Running for Secretary of State didn't kill me. Even working in the news industry for 20 years didn't kill me. I'm not dead. People keep asking me, Rick, what are you doing now? When marimba rhythm starts to play, Dance with me, make me sway. It was something we wanted to do for a long time. What I wanted to do for a long time was tell real stories about real people, why they do what they do. in our life to own a coffee house. As a town, many travelers simply pass by. So here's how it happened. A business owner in Oakland, Oregon called me, said, Rick, could you do a video on my business? I thought, sure. Then the city of Oakland called me, and uh, the rest, I guess, is sort of history for me. I can see it. You loved it. <laughs> and I do. Oakland, Oregon. There's really no place like it. In the beginning, to be honest, I really didn't know what I was going to do. But I started shooting stories on places like the Walterville Grange, stuff in my neighborhood that I knew about. And so this building was built, the main building was built in 1800. But the wear and tear. Hi, I'm Rick Dancer. I'm not the most mechanically inclined guy. I mean, I know that the engine is under the hood. <laughs> a good friend of mine, Kurt Richter, also a photographer at KEZI, started working with me and we came up with some creative about ideas. It. I don't know much about cars, and yet I need to save money like you do when it comes to working on my car. So what am I supposed to do? 
Well, I had this friend named Phil. He owns Shepard Motors in Eugene. You know, they sell Volkswagens, Volvos, and Hyundais. The other day, my friend Phil and I were at Full City having coffee. You know Full City, that's the place I always tell you about where I go have coffee. So Phil says to me, you know Rick, my mechanic could show you and your over 6,000 Facebook friends how to take care of your vehicles. You know, I do have more than 6,000 friends on Facebook. That's a huge deal. More than 6,000 close, intimate friendships on Facebook. Huh. If you come to the Network Charter School in Eugene expecting a mainstream educational experience, you will be pleasantly surprised because the Network Charter School is so much more. I really do love my job. I like telling stories of places that people may not understand, may not have been, programs that are different, that are outside of the box, and I still get to do that a lot. Show up and ready to learn. I was not a good student. I heard. I'm Rick Dancer. This is Nick. When you do your own television, you get to focus on the things that you really think are important, the things that matter, that change the way we think. Something amazing happens when you give people the opportunity to see others in a new light. We create commercials that cut past the pure messaging and get to the heart of the real issue. She makes rugs for people. She vacationed in Spain. She would love to tell you about her trip and about her life. Vicki has a lot to offer. All you have to do is acknowledge her. When Women's Space needed to get the message out to end the silence, we didn't get a spokesperson. We went and talked to survivors, real people who'd been through it before. This is Women's Space. Oh, good. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. We told the story of a young man and his mother whose lives were changed after spending time at the Women's Space Shelter more than two decades ago. I hear her saying, yeah, you, you know, you had, a, you had a rough childhood. And I'm like, really? Wake up, you fell again. It was, well, 20 years ago, actually. I think that would be, you know, my, my biggest words of wisdom. We believe life lessons make you the real expert. Real people, real stories, real advice from folks who've been there. Talk about your feelings. I don't want him to feel like, you know, he's a man and he can't. I want him to know that, you know, that's what we want. We want to know what's going on. I want him to know that it's okay to show affection and to, you know, show compassion and to, to be caring and, um, to be honest, it's okay to be angry and upset, but it's not okay to act out in anger. It's never okay to hit. I hope by, you know, the way I'm able to raise him that he's going to continue to treat the, the women in his life the way he treats me, because that's huge. You know, if I, if I can get that accomplished, I've done well. <laughs> I've always heard that a, that a man that treats his mother with, with love and respect is, you know, the man you want to find. <laughs> So I'd love my son to be that, that man. One of the things we find people like the best about Rick Dancer TV is we take you on a location shoot into a business and show you what they do. Okay, so Terry, when you buy a location shoot, kind of the idea is we're going to start out here and then give you a couple of segments throughout the show so that it looks like Coburg Pizza, Nana's Cafe is all over this thing. And that's kind of what you're paying <laughs> yeah, for. That's yeah, what you want. Yeah. yeah. So you get three segments. The first one is the most important. That's right near the top. So it's a minute 30. What do you want to focus on there? Got to concentrate on Nana and probably Nana's cinnamon rolls. So, so who nice. she is, what your specialty is, yeah. that kind yeah. of stuff. Because there's a story there. So we all know about Coburg Pizza located in Coburg, right on the main drag. Now Coburg Pizza is also Nana's Cafe in Coburg. So Terry Dawson is the owner, and uh, hey, haven't seen you since I think it was last Friday when I had a pizza at Coburg <laughs> Pizza in Springfield. But anyway, that's the, why I confuse the point. No confusion. Nana's Cafe. What what are you guys doing here? What is what's going well, on? Well, you know, here? when we first moved to town 17 years ago, coffee was the thing we wanted to do to better be involved and get to know our community, and we just never got around to it. Pizza happened, and it kind of exploded, and you so kind of got popular yeah, real fast. It did, it did kind of happen, and so last fall uh, we decided to finally venture into. Uh, some great espresso, my wife's baked goods, Nana's baked goods. 
and uh, created Nana's Cafe inside the pizza company in Coburg. What are you most famous for? Wow. Uh, scones and cinnamon rolls, probably, when it comes to baked goods, and especially the cinnamon rolls. because All do made a, here. All made here. We do a, a wide variety of them, so cranberry orange cinnamon rolls and maple bacon cinnamon rolls and, you know, our, our traditional cinnamon rolls. And so they're all pretty popular, and we probably have three times as many scone recipes that we offer. So those things tend to get a lot of traffic. You also serve lunch here. Yeah, yeah, we do. What kind of sandwiches, pizza? Obviously. Sandwiches, pizza by the slice, uh, wings, the, the Cobra Pizza Company recipe. And this has kind of become a gathering spot for the whole of our community. And so uh, watching them interact with each other, reacquaint themselves and their relationships and their friendships, uh, sometimes uh, old disputes put away over a great cup of coffee. That's really the kind of thing that we hope to see as a whole, both in the Cobra Pizza Company and, of course, then in mornings at Nana's Cafe. Okay, two other ones. You get two. These are going to be like 60 seconds. Well, coffee, Nana's Cafe, coffee, that, that's the score, so that's probably something that we should emphasize. We have two different kinds of coffee that uh, we use, two different blends that are roasted in two different ways. We use a local roaster to do all of our coffees. Both coffees are unique to us. We use one for our house blend, it's a secret recipe. We use another for our espresso blend. And uh, they're both pretty dark and rich, very deeply flavored, and both very Italian. The blends that we've come up with, mostly it comes through a series of tastings, uh, multiple tastings, over and over and over again, just like we do with our pizza. And so uh, we roast some and taste it and adjust the blend and roast some and taste it. We're using uh, five different beans for our espresso, four different beans for our house coffee. And we're pretty thankful to have been given the opportunity to create, you know, on, on that level and introduce some really fine coffee to Coburg. What we are most known for in our business is creating videos that cut to the heart of the story and let you know what's going on in our community. Hey guys, what's up? What do you need? Uh, we, our bus came late and we mm -hmm. missed breakfast. Uh oh, should we see what we have? You guys want some cereal? Sure. 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 There's some granola. Um, do you want milk on it? And we just started a new program called What's Happening Downtown. This is everything downtown Eugene. I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to What's Happening in Downtown Eugene. And we're here with Kaz Ovesi. Mm -hmm. And what's happening in downtown Eugene is there's a proposal to put a development on Kesey Square, and that's raising some eyebrows and making some people excited, and you just happen to be one of the developers. Uh, correct. I'll just give you a little bit of uh, context here. Uh, this project was really created by Downtown Eugene, Inc. And when Amoresco and South Lane School District wanted to explain to people in their community this new program at the school district, they hired us to come in and tell the story. And we just finished the paragraph. South Lane School District is saving money by upgrading technology and improving energy efficiency. So it took a while to convince me that this really was cost neutral. Energy cost just keeps getting higher and higher. And our project was slated as guaranteed savings of $100,000 a year, which is about 16% of the annual utility costs for the district. They're gonna guarantee these energy savings. We're gonna be able to recoup these dollars into the system to be able to use for other things. Amoresco is in the business of energy efficiency. Did you see my new socks? Yeah. These you, are Swiftwick. You keep showing me. Oh, look, the heel. It's obvious where it goes, so <laughs> that'll be good for I you. Need, yeah, I need that. Things are, Socks upside down. We believe marketing should be subtle, not flashy and in your face. There's a learning curve, and when you come later, you get the better pancakes. 24 bags of crusty. We like to get out in the community and have fun with people and make fun of each other. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. I think I have to start over there. The bubbly ones. My mama showed me how to make pancakes. Oh, let me, let me. Em, don't, you'll ruin them. Whatever, you know I do everything better than Rick. And faster. Look at that. And stronger. You gotta get them turned over. Give me that, don't oh, tell oh, me how. Oh. Okay. oh. 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 
Oh, kind of flipped oh. that like a chick, didn't oh. you, Rick? <laughs> got it. You got to loosen it up, Rick. You got to loosen it up. And you want to do a clean like that, okay? You're a drama queen. You, you, just, you, you, have, to make <laughs> it, you have to make it into a big deal Hey, here. Pop, just flip this it. is just the kettle. It. You're black. We love to eat. We like showing you new places to eat, and there's so many in town. ...of Willamette and Broadway, one of the oldest buildings in Eugene, and they have all kinds of beer. Now, just down the street over in the Whitaker neighborhood, Oakshire Brewery has a new public house. If you want to find the center of Cresswell, the place where everybody hangs out, you follow your nose to the Cresswell Bakery. This is where Heidi Tunnell, famous for her barn dinners, now she has a bakery. Come here. This is Heidi Tunnell, and she owns, you've had a catering company here for years. Ranchito Grill in Springfield is the greatest Mexican food, but they needed to get the word out, so we help them do that every month. From scratch. So we make sure we hire people that have the passion for making food. That's one of the ingredients. The other one, we make sure that our recipes, they use the ingredients that we tell them to use. It was brand new when Sai opened the store in uh, 1978. When it comes to our clients, we're not afraid to have a little fun. The pizza's here, hurry, oh hurry. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, what? come what? look at this. Size matters, that's the biggest one I've ever seen. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I could have told you that. Wow, that is huge. Wow, thanks Mark. But wait, I've got more in the back. <laughs> in this car? This little size car? Thanks, Mark. Hey, it's, um, thanks for bringing these out here. I really appreciate it. No problem. Em is really hungry tonight. Whoa, here, whoa, here whoa, whoa. She can help us out. You know, I love the way the video turned out. I think it's going to be really cool. Oh People God. are really going to like it. Hold on. It's just awesome. Can Thank I on. Firewood? It's okay. Yeah, no, okay. don't worry about that. Oh, okay. You okay? Oh, no, uh -huh. she, no, she's fine. Don't oh, worry about her, Mark. Oh, she's really. Okay. Em does this all the time. She's you used know, to eating. I'm not super there she tall. goes. Okay, oh, good. Okay. So, anyway, it was really good of you bringing those all the way out so here. I... Em, I'll be in in a second. Um, My wife, Kathy, and I love adventure. We go on trips cycling and we go paddle boarding and running and we think that you'd like to come along with us because we hear that all the time. So on the show and Rick Dancer TV, we take you everywhere. Part of the fun of all this is we give you ideas of things you might want to try. I hear all the time people say, well, if Rick and Kathy can do it, I can do it. And they do. Relationship, that's really what we're looking for here. Commercial TV can't provide that. We can. We want you involved. We want you to feel like you can do anything we do. When Dark 30 Sports sponsored the first downtown Eugene Criterion and Elite Mile, they called us to get the word out. happened in other cities, but in downtown Eugene, this is a first and a combination that has Eugene written all over it. Dancer Television is not just about Western Oregon. That's our main focus, but just a few years ago, we went to Readout Mountain Lodge in Alaska. I cannot tell you how many people have told me they want to go there now. It's like going back in time. I mean, this is like the lower 48 was 100 years ago. It's nature in its uh, simple form. You know, it's, not the, uh, it's not the TV form. You know there's nobody for miles. I mean, literally miles and miles. You're not going to see another soul. This is what we get to do out here. We get to show people wild Alaska, or just nature, I guess, in its truest sense. because I think Alaska, for a lot of people, is a bucket list. Advertising shouldn't be in your face. It should be compelling, but it should be your story. We think that's what sells a company. It's four in the morning. Nature is starting to stir. In an hour or so, the sun will peek over the Cascade Mountain Range and spill into the Willamette Valley. Nestled at the base of those mountains near a small community of farmers north of Junction City, you'll find Lockmead Farms. The cows and those who care for them are already up. 
Something about starting the day this way seems so natural. Taking care of the land, the animals, and each other is just part of the tradition at Lockmead Farms. In these parts, hard work, commitment to community, and how to treat each other are simply the way it's done. Lockmead Farms is fresh, it's local, it's family. No wonder our milk, ice cream, and other dairy products taste so good. But you don't have to visit the farm to experience our goodness. You can find them at your neighborhood Dairy Mart store, the home of Lockmead Farms, or in your local natural food store. We love to try something new. Goodwill wanted to increase its donations. Our concept was the top four reasons you should not have a garage sale. You take 50 cents for that? The negotiator, the bargainer, the cheapskate. How about a nickel for all this? Negotiation is sport to this guy. Okay, how much for all this? 20 bucks. Uh, three. Who let him out anyway? Come on, 850, 875, 885. Why did you do it? Would you take three bucks for that? You knew he'd show up. How much for this sign? It's not for sale. He always shows up. What about this fishing pole up here? So how much for all these tools and, and this gas? It's not for sale. Now he knows where you live. Hey, so what about this computer in here? Oh wow, look at this lamp, look at this lamp. Hey, Eric, Eric, you know what? I think that's Shelly Curtis from k -Bow. She used to work at k -Bow. Come here, come here. We have a blast bringing back people like me from the past news years onto the show to be a host. Shelly Kurtz was a kid. How are you? Look, this is Shelly Kurtz. Oh my gosh. Oh my Rick. gosh. You know, what are you doing? I'm doing well. Shelly and I, you can stand up. Shelly and I started when I was an intern. Oh, that's right. I was an intern at KGW we go way when I was in back. college. We go she was way the week. I know, you were the weekend anchor. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming in. It's such a surprise to see you, and you're going to be hosting tonight with us. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, and it shouldn't What's... be such a surprise, so I brought a contract oh. for you to sign. I've oh. learned from experience that I need a lengthy contract. <laughs> and something that's ironclad, don't something you? A relatively new aspect of Rick Dancer TV is local musicians. We bring them in, let them play a song, find out who they are, and introduce you to these amazing, talented people in our community. They call me back on Santa. Come around by the break of day. great way to build relationships. If you're looking for a barber who understands the art of cutting hair, Francesco Michelli is the man. This guy really knows what he's doing. He takes his time, he understands his customer, and he knows what makes you look good. They even do the little extras, like a straight razor shave to get those little hairs off of all those places, yep, even the top of ears. I'm telling you, if you want a good haircut, somebody who knows what they're doing, a true artist, go to my barber, Fresh Cut. At Analog, Francesco Michelli, he's the man. 541-357-6903, you'll love it. Did you hear the news? McDonald's now offers all day breakfast. People love our breakfast. Whenever they want it. They can get their sausage egg McMuffin, their egg McMuffin, their hotcakes, burritos. We took the news and some of those breakfast burritos and egg McMuffins to a recent tailgate party at a duck game. So guys, did you guys hear that McDonald's has breakfast all day now? Breakfast all day at McDonald's? I mean, I will give you some fresh McDonald's breakfast because now you can get it all day. I'm loving it. Breakfast <laughs> oh. all day at McDonald's. All day. It's 1:10. Breakfast all day. Go, go get your breakfast. <laughs> 
here like breakfast all day at McDonald's? Breakfast what? all day? Are, you've got to be kidding wait, me. Wait, wait, wait. I thought it was until 11. Hey, McDonald's! Thanks for the breakfast! Go Ducks! <laughs> What I want all day, every time of day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm starving. Yeah. Yeah. McDonald's all day breakfast. Yay! We've been waiting for that. Go Ducks. Go Ducks. Go Ducks. We've been waiting for that. Yes, we have been waiting for all day breakfast, yeah. actually. Our water cooler interview really gets to the heart of topics. We take a little bit longer on this. We make a web version that goes up to eight minutes long. The one you see on TV is only about three minutes, but this is just straight interview. This is conversations with newsmakers and people in town, just trying to get information out without all the hype and buzz. Football world. And joining us is Tom Turner, the sheriff of Lane County. We're gonna talk about that levy that voters passed. So, and welcome to the water cooler. Joining us is Brian Obie, and you have proposed the owner of Fifth Street Market, and you've proposed this huge project. We also have the soapbox. Your chance and mine to get on the box and rant. Tonight's soapbox, we're gonna get a little controversial. It's about an opinion and it's mine, okay? This is about Phil Knight and his sports complex, okay? I've seen all the writing and all the people yelling and screaming about it. Is it over the top? Yes. Is it too much? Of course it is. Bottom line is, Phil's done a lot of other good things in the community. The Knight Library, Matt Court, the single largest construction project in Lane County history. He donated $100 million to Oregon Health Sciences University so that I could get treated for cancer. I don't think that was his reason, but that's what happened with it. So I got no beef with the guy. And the bottom line for me is, it's his money. And when we start griping about how other people spend their private money, we're in big trouble. I do some work with the Look Me in the Eye campaign. We like to leave each show with something for you to chew on, something to think about, something real life that makes you walk away and say, you know, tomorrow's gonna be a better day. For who we are. We were at Spring Creek Elementary the other day. I was with a young man named Nick Casa. He was explaining to the kids what it's like to have a wheelchair to get around. The kids were asking great questions and this one little boy came up, let's just call him John. And John said, my issue is that people think I'm odd and they tell me that to my face. And I said, how does that make you feel? And he said, really bad. After the assembly, I'm leaving and John looks at me and he just mouths the words, thank you. Got in my car and I said, you know what? I wanna be like John when I grow up. I think I need to just start being odd and not worry about what the rest of you think. We'll see you next time. Are you guys, is the show over already? That's been 28 minutes, huh? Well, anyway, if you are interested, you're a business or a nonprofit, and you're interested in our special deal where we come out and shoot a little segment from your location to put on the show, and you get to use it off of YouTube too. It's something you can use on your website as well. 300 bucks, and you need to call me, 541-232-3143, uh, or email me at rick at rickdancer.com. Um, I really have to go because I have a meeting with M, and if you don't show up on time, she gets really cranky. So anyway, you guys call me, 541-232-3143, rick at rickdancer.com. I'm coming. I'll, I'll talk to you later.